Hello there, I'm Rick Davis, Director of Quality at Bearing Bronze Limited. Welcome to another exciting video that isn't about bearings. I've personally been in the space and aerospace business for 30 plus years, and in that time, I've been able to engage with other professionals in these fields, including visits to the Canadian Space Agency and meeting several of the Canadian astronauts. Like many of you out there, I grew up with Star Trek, Star Wars, was a fan, and thought about space. In fact, back in the 1980s, I had a very unsuccessful application to be an astronaut uh, when I applied to the Canadian Space Agency when they posted for uh, astronaut applicants. Unfortunately, I had none of the criteria, but it was a good experience. We're going to uh, look at some videos here about space, aerospace, and just uh, make some comments on them and relate them to uh, science and Canadians. Let's hit the first video. Wall Street Vision, look to green, 9 o'clock. Half of North America just lost their Facebook. Explore, repeat, expect the communication blackout at any moment. Copy that, Houston. Explore, this is Kowalski confirming visual contact with debris. Debris is from a BSC sat. You repeat, I am. Dr. Stone requesting faster transport. We have to go, we have to go, go, go. Kennedy reports meteorological conditions. Go, go. Houston, Explore, copy. Explore, Dr. Stone requesting faster transport to Bay Area. Explore, do you copy? Explore, permission to retrieve Dr. Stone. Your go, Kowalski. Houston, Explore, copy. Alright. We've lost Houston. Oh. We lost Houston. Oh, crap. Look, we need to get the hell out of here. Need some help there, man. No, don't wait for us. Stop it. Man down. Man down. Copy. Houston, 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 Houston. Explore. Houston. 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 Astronaut is off structure, Dr. Stone is off structure. Dr. Stone detach. You must detach. If you don't detach, that arm's gonna carry you too far. Listen to my voice. You need to focus. I'm losing visual of you. In a few seconds, I won't be able to track you. You need to detach. I can't see you anymore. Do it now. Houston, I've lost visual of Dr. Stone. Houston, I've lost visual of Dr. Stone. There are lots of uh, videos, YouTubes out there with experts talking about uh, the realism of these space movies. And I'm not one to, to add more to that because I'm definitely not an expert. But again, let's remember, these are Hollywood movies. Don't let science get in the way of enjoying your movie. Gravity, uh, a great movie. I remember watching it in the theaters, you know, the big screen. The uh, imagery and the, the visuals, just amazing in terms of the, the vastness of space and showing the clarity. That was the cool part. The movie does show a sense of urgency when the emergency uh, is first identified, debris starts fall, uh, racing by the, uh, the station. But it also shows that the, I don't know, I'm not I'm quite sure that the training is there, at least from these uh, astronauts. They're looking for Houston to give them their authorization and answers and permission to do certain things. My understanding is that astronauts are, are super trained. They know what to do for all occasions and they will do the right thing. For example, the movie, The Right Stuff, another great space movie. I would think they have all the training. They know what's needed. They're gonna save themselves and they don't have to ask permission, especially when they're losing communication. The action in space, it shows that it's fast paced and great visually. Separation complete. Engaging impulse engines. Core breach in progress. Primary stabilizers offline. Engaging secondary systems. Report! Help controls are offline!
Star Trek, whether it's the old TV show that we all grew up on or the movies, they always have the artificial gravity to keep everybody straight. I'm not quite sure how that works, but uh, they, they're walking around straight up. Military training is very evident in the movie when they're going through all these problems. Everybody is focused on their job to, uh, in, the, in spite of everything that's going on around them, and they drive that the spacecraft right to the ground. Right through to the crash landing, of course, everybody makes it. Otherwise, the movie's over. Turn the thrusters off, we jump this thing, we float right over it. Go over it again, lad. So the jet thrust is off exactly when we jump, and then okay. I'm gonna put them on, and we're gonna go down nice and slow. That's it, that's it, baby, that's is it. Is this gonna work? I don't know. Left. you know what, just lie to me. Let's say 50 feet, no, more like... Uh, it's like 70, 30, 80, 20. But you know what? If it works, two of you are gonna be heroes. Just like me. Screw it. We're jumping over this canyon. Just for the record, this is a very uh, bad idea. Wait for the edge now. Don't uh, we wait get there. Wait. Three. 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 Armageddon, what can you say? Total Hollywood with the American hero saving the day. Interesting that it shows, in fact, that the focus is on the lack of training that these, uh, these miners have to the point of panic. Even the comment when they're asked, well, I don't know, when asked about something will work. Of course, it worked out in the end and they, they saved the day and saved the world. I need to point out a number of prominent Canadians that we have here. Everybody knows Chris Hatfield, a Canadian from Sarnia who has been to space numerous times. He's also shown off his musical skills on the space station with his guitar and uh, a David Bowie classic. Star Trek alumni, Captain Kirk and Scotty, William Shatner and James Doohan. In fact, 90-year-old Captain Kirk was recently in space, courtesy of Blue Origin. James Cameron, another good Canadian boy, has done amazing sci-fi and space movies from Aliens to Avatar. And then let's not forget the two Ryans. Ryan Gosling played Neil Armstrong in the movie The First Man, and even Ryan Reynolds flew through space as the Green Lantern. You may not like the movie, but he was in space. Thanks again for watching another Bearing Bronze Limited video and our continuing video series that deal nothing about our products. Thank you.